Today, I finally took the plunge and upgraded one of my actually more older pieces of hardware, but yet one of my most favorite, my Apple Watch. I have actually been using Apple Watch Series 3 for the longest, well, since launch back in 2017. People keep asking me, Jay, should I go ahead and get an Apple Watch Series 3, SE, or 6? First off, about the 6, the 6 does have quite a few premium features, including a beautiful blue color. If you pretty much don't exactly need those really good heart features, such as the uh, ECG and the blood oxygen reader, you kind of could get away with saving quite a bit of money and getting a SE. Now, for a size comparison. Wham. As you see, the box itself of the Apple Watch SE is quite small because of the fact they took out that power brick. As you can see, the size difference there. And there, the newer SE does have a built-in compass, which is really good if you're out and about hiking, you're GPSing all the time, you're out swimming and so on. Built-in compass is a good plus. Among some of the more notable upgrades is the fact that the Apple Watch SE does have starting with eight gigs of storage, which is plenty if you're just using it for the more basic features. But remember, you can actually go ahead and download your music and photos and plenty of apps onto the watch itself. While the SE does have 32 gigs of RAM, much more breathing room. There is also a louder speaker on the SE and also it has a second generation heartbeat monitor as well. Now, I think it is time to open this sucker up. Okay, so it looked like he just straight up send you a replacement band right there. Let's see. Once again, full tabs. Let's open this up. A nice little how-to on changing the bands. Oh, wow. I think that might be the whole watch band and the extra right there. So what's in here? Ta-da. Okay, we have the watch itself. Set that aside for now. They're a little, uh, Paperwork. Most likely, I'm guessing stickers are in here somewhere. No, maybe not. No. Oh. Usually the Apple Watch have a, I mean, usually Apple products have stickers everywhere. This right here is a setup. Once again, telling you the real easy stuff, how to put it on this magnetic charger and so on. Also inside is just the core, charging cord itself, the magnetic puck. That's it. Which really this is, like I said, is all you really need. Little tab there, pulling that. Comes right on out. There it is. Bam. They love their tabs. They definitely love their tabs. I don't think I pulled it off that, but whoa, that feels very nice actually. Huh? Okay, I know that this is both the same type of um, but I'm not saying the right of aluminum, but this does feel a little better actually. There you go. You see much more better rounded, feels a little bit more heavier. Um, but also it's probably because it's bigger. You get the uh, 44 millimeter cellular version. You can, it's hard to see there. There is a little red circle there. Click right there and there it is. That's it. Mike and that 
that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Now I'm gonna go ahead, power it up, and sync it. See if I could tell what all the difference, if I could tell the difference between the speaker, speed, so on and so forth. Let's see how this one goes. And maybe I might just have a new favorite.